Hey guys, it's Andrew Ramos for WPIX.com, and I'm sure you recognize this lovely lady sitting right next to me. It's yeah. Celia from America's Next Top Model, and she, of course, is the latest beauty kicked off this show, wow. kicked to the curb. <laughs> now we were we were just watching the episode. Yeah. And and I, I'm so curious to see what's going on through your mind as you watch the other girls talk about you, talk about this, uh, the other girls. I mean, what's going on in your head, especially with the editing we were talking about? Oh, uh, the editing. A lot of editing on the show. Yeah, I, I usually have a lot, a lot, a larger speaking role than than what I had just then. But you know, I I knew it was going to be kind of brutal to watch, but it actually hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. No, we we all saw that Paulina called you old, too old Shocking. to model. You are at an age that is like way old for modeling, and desperation is not sexy. Now, what yeah. was what was going? Was it hurtful when she told you that? No, I mean it was just so it was so weird to me. It was always so weird that the age thing was brought up because they knew how old I was when I went on the show. It's, it takes twenty five years to be twenty five, and. <laughs> I didn't wake up being 25 on the show, and and in a way, it's almost flattering because that was the kind of the worst thing that they found about me was my age. Like they didn't have any other critiques um, about me, so it's it wasn't hurtful. It was just I didn't really get it. I never got it. You see, I didn't get it either because she kept on saying you have an old look, you have an old look, and this is not the first time they said it. the judges have said it in past panels. Yeah, panels. yeah, they were kind of building up to. Well, I guess so. they're looking for a 12 year old girl this time around. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was trying, you know, I, I gave them everything I could, but I don't know. I just, it, I, you can't beat age, I guess. I don't know. I don't but um, uh, you were among the the final four yeah. on the show. Yeah. You the three remaining girls. You had uh, Allison, Tiana, and uh, Amina. Mm -hmm. How how was your relationship, especially when you guys were like the the lone four in the house? Yeah. Did, did you just keep to Allison, or did you guys all miss? You know, together, it, four? there was so much. There was so much other things going on, but Allie and I just remained like lovers. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't we were lovers, but like secret lovers. Secret lovers. <laughs> no, it was just I loved her so much, and I just wanted to be around her all the time. So that's kind of what it was. And you know, there was kind of you know we did interact with each other a lot, but there was still some remnants of you know uh, earlier. Um, controversies that that went down that kind of carried on throughout um, throughout the rest but it, it never we kind of remedied it and you know the the fewer there were of us you know the less of an audience that Amina and Tiana had yes. to kind of you know do their thing in front of but uh, they're fine I mean they're sweet girls they are and speaking of controversies since you brought it up oh, might as well talk about it um, I brought it on to myself Talia Talia Yes, who, who, who's Thalia? She, um, we had a small little, uh, you had a little run-in with her, I mean, uh, on the show. Yeah. Where you actually, on, during panel, you just basically said, she doesn't really belong here, she told me she doesn't want to be here, and, uh, I don't, because Courtney is being sent home that day. Yeah, and that you was said, my girl. Yeah, yeah she was your girl, we were all, yeah, and, <laughs> did you get a lot of heat for that? You know, the thing is, is the show has an insatiable thirst for controversy, and I stop. I it. provide no. that, so <laughs> it's fine. I know, right? Shocking, but you know, I mean, the thing is, is uh, Tully and I, over a long period of time, to men multiple girls on many days, were like, "I want to go home. This is not what I want to do." And it wasn't just a day. It wasn't like one bad day. It was many days and um, it was kind of the big topic of the house you know and it was it became you know we're in this like like microcosm and everything is just you know um, magnified and and panel the next day Tyra was like you know look if anyone has anything to say now's the time to say it we have no idea what goes on on you know at your house so if anyone has anything to say say it and in addition to Kara was like you know you all need to speak up and tell the judges what's on your mind. So it was kind of like, never, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't forced to do what I did, but it was definitely clear to me the path that perhaps I should have taken. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Okay, it is, yeah, of course. Yeah, basically, yeah. So basically they say, you, you have the power of choice, yeah. but we're not, uh, we're not responsible for the consequences and everything yeah. that happens at the end. Well, but what gets me is that Tyra did say that. She did, You, yeah. could, you guys, the floor's open. 
Go ahead and say, oh, and then yeah. they edit that out, of course. Yeah, they, they did edit that out. Shocking. That's so weird. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but it's a uh, top model's done with now. Yeah. What's what's up next for you, Celia? I, you know, I have a lot of very interesting things in the, in the works, and I'm really, really excited. I'm I'm looking forward. Mm. I'm. I want to be saturated in fashion. I'm, I'm looking to be, you know, a senior fashion editor or working at WWD or a forecaster and along the lines modeling as well. You know, I don't know if age, how much age will affect me. My runway is fierce. Mm -hmm. I have confidence in my runway, so I, I would love to continue doing that. But more so, I just, the industry itself and modeling is part of the industry and that's what was so great about the show is it got to, it was like, a culmination of all the things that I love, like, you know, breathing life into clothes and making them come alive, and I just, ah, oh, it's such a, I get such a high off of that, you know, so. But thank you so much for oh, joining us. Oh, it's my us. pleasure. Thanks for having me.